In this video, I'm gonna share with you some easy ways to get started with color grading your videos in Premiere Pro. Here inside Premiere Pro, once I've color corrected all my clips, I'm just gonna go down here to the new item button and create a new adjustment layer. And then I'm gonna click and drag that adjustment layer onto the timeline and stretch it across all of my clips. Then I'm gonna go up here to the color workspace. So in order to create this look, I'm just going to select the adjustment layer and then open up the color wheels and match tab here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by targeting the darker areas of my image. So the shadows being my shirt and some areas of the background like the plants and trees. And what I'm gonna do is click and drag this down to the teal color. And I'm gonna drag this down and you can see that my skin tones are being affected by this, but I'm not worried about that right now because I'm gonna clean that up here in just a second. Then to fix my skin tones, I'm just gonna go over here to the mid tones and I'm going to add in some orange and I'm gonna increase this until I have my skin looking back to normal. And when I added the orange into those mid tones, you can see that a lot of that teal looks like it disappeared. But if I toggle this on and off and compare it to the original image, you can see that the teal is still in there. Next, I'm just gonna add a hint of orange into the highlights as well. And I also want to just add a little bit of exposure to this. So we'll go like 0.2, I think that looks pretty good. And I'll toggle this on and off a few times so you can see it before and after. Another really great way to color grade your videos is using something like Shot Deck. And this video is not sponsored by Shot Deck at all. They didn't pay me to say this. It's just a tool that I use and you can use it for free without having to commit to any subscriptions for like 14 days, 15 days, something like that. And all you have to do is go in here and search for like your favorite film or a film that has a look that you're going for. and has a whole bunch of super high quality images that are pulled directly from the movies. But for this, I just wanna find something that was shot outside. So I'm just gonna type in outside. And I wanna find an image in here that's similar to my video. So this one here was shot, looks like during the daytime. And as you can see, it's really useful because it has like all the colors and it can tell you specific details down here. So this was shot during the day. So all I'm gonna do is just zoom this in and save the image. Then I'm just gonna drag that into Premiere and then drag that onto my timeline. Then I'm gonna go back up here to the color wheels and match tab and then click on the comparison view. And I wanna make sure the image I got from Shot Deck is over here on the left because this is the reference clip. And this is the clip that I'm gonna to use to color grade this clip here. And you wanna make sure that you have the adjustment layer selected and wherever you position your playhead is going to show over here on the right side. So if your reference point is off, you can just click these arrows here until it shows up in that spot. Then all you have to do is make sure that you check the box for face detection and then click apply match. And Premiere Pro is automatically going to match your clip to that reference clip. And I think that did a pretty good job, but you're always gonna wanna go in here and kind of fine tune it because in my experience, it's not ever really perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make the background a little bit more teal. And this clip looks like it's slightly desaturated, so some of the saturation was taken out. So I'm gonna open up the Creative tab here and just bring the saturation down just a little bit, not a whole lot. And then I'm gonna go back to the color wheels and match. And then for the mid-tones, I'm gonna bring them up to the orange just a little bit. You just wanna play around with these until you have it looking exactly the way that you want. And if I make this full screen, you can see compared to the reference clip that it's pretty close. It's not perfect, but I think that looks pretty good. If you wanna learn more about how I stylize and color grade my videos, check out this video right here. And if you're looking to improve your video editing skills, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video. Man, I say that like super, super fast, I feel like. I'll see you in the next video.